Okay guys, welcome to Let's Kitchen and thanks for your awesome response on our mutton curry recipe. It has crossed 1 million views. Thanks for that. And a lot of you guys have asked for mutton rogan juice recipe. So today it's a holiday for me. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to teach you guys. I'm going to cook mutton rogan juice in my kitchen. I'm going to shoot it so that I can put it in YouTube, make some money out of that. That's good. Okay. I'm making some, some money out of that. Not much, not much. Okay, fine. So uh, first of all, let me warn you also, it's it's a time consuming process. It will take approximately two to three hours of your day. So have some time, have some patience also. And there is another version of uh, this particular recipe where you can cook it in pressure cooker. Uh, that's not something which I like. I, that's not something which I recommend to others. So I will teach you how to make it in an open vessel. And I'll write the description how can you can cook, cook it in uh, a pressure cooker also. So without any delay, let's start. Okay, so I'm using approximately 500 grams of mutton. I'm using shoulder pieces, neck pieces, and chest. Uh, depends uh, up to you what you want to use. Uh, but mutton, mutton is actually a bit harder to cook in compare uh, in comparison to chicken. So I'm gonna uh, use some kind of tenderizer. I'm using lemon here, lemon juice. So lemon is acidic in nature. It breaks the meat and makes the mutton softer. So I'm gonna marinate it with lemon, lemon juice for approximately one hour. Cool. So we'll keep it aside for one hour and we'll start cooking after that. Okay, so the ingredients we need is very common ingredients, easily available in the market. So I'm using approximately 300 grams of uh, curd. It should not be sour mixture of that. Uh, plus garam masala powder, salt powder that is dry ginger powder, Kashmiri red chilli powder, soft powder that is uh, fennel seeds powder, hing also known as also fetida, and ghee uh, clarified butter. Plus, I'm using some whole spices here, which are cinnamon sticks, a small amount of uh, peppercorns, black pepper actually, green cardamom, and black cardamom. I'm using three pieces of black cardamom and approximately six to seven, six to seven pieces of uh, green cardamom, plus two bay leaves. Okay, so let's start. Okay, so we will need to make a mixture out of these uh, spices. So first of all, we need to grind uh, five green cardamoms, two black cardamom, all pepper, and because the small, the amount of these spices are so small, I will not be able to grind it here. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna mix these uh, powdered spices also here, so it's easy for me in mixer grinder. So I am using. 3 tablespoon of red uh, kashmiri red chili powder don't worry it, it will not be very hot uh, kashmiri red chilies are not as hot as normal red chili powder 1 tablespoon of soft powder that is fennel seeds powder 1 tablespoon of dry ginger powder and one teaspoon of uh, garam masala powder so one teaspoon is approximately uh, 5 ml 5 milligram and one tablespoon is approximately 15 ml or 15 milligram so yeah please make sure that you have these quantities in this proportion so let's grind this so my uh, spice mixer is ready to make the gravy i'm using this curd add all the spices to this Be like a pure Indian, don't leave anything in this. Give it a good mix. It should be a smooth paste. Okay, let's start cooking. Okay, so we have to start with frying the mutton. So before that, heat some oil, not too much of oil. We just need to shallow fry my mutton. Add bay leaves cardamom 
just press it before you add it to the oil cinnamon sticks and one pinch of hing don't overcrowd the pan so if you have like 5 to 6 gram of, of mudan you have to do it in 2 to 3 batches so it will take up about 3 to 4 minutes so that each side is brown and after that we'll remove it add another round of mutton to it okay so it has been approximately 3 to 4 minutes now and you can see the color is changing now it's getting brown color no need to fry it too much else it will become chew too hard to chew actually so remove these pieces okay so i have removed the first batch of mutton and left the bay leaves cardamom seeds and all in the same oil add the mutton Okay, so even this batch is cooked now. So add the mutton from the first batch. Fry it for like two to three minutes, so that every each mutton piece is evenly cooked. Okay, look at the color of this mutton now. It's well caramelized. No need to remove it. Just add ghee to this. I'm adding like three to four tablespoon of ghee. Yeah, I know you guys must be thinking it's too much of ghee and oil, but it's okay. You know, once in a week, once in a month, you can have a bit unhealthy food. Add the space we made. Keep the flame medium and let let it cook for some time. We'll cover it with lid and we'll cook it for some time till the time uh, this paste is well dried. Then after that we'll add water to this. It looks delicious. Add salt to taste. So I've been uh, frying it for approximately uh, 10 to 12 minutes now. What I'm going to do is now I'm going to add water to this and I am going to cook it for approximately 50 to 60 minutes on a very low flame, okay? And in the meantime you can go and watch some serial. Maybe some Sasu Bahu serial, something else, some movie or whatever you want to do up to you or you can go and shout at your husband also. Or your boyfriend? No, you can't shout at your wife and girlfriend. That's not an option. Keep the flame low. In the meantime, what you can do is you can just have look and wait. The wait. To get it done, so it's gonna take some time right now. It has been approximately 10 minutes right now, so it's almost 40-50 minutes left. Keep waiting. Okay, guys, it has been like approximately 45 minutes now, and the mutton is well cooked.
So the reason you know this particular dish is called mutton rogan josh. The rogan means this oil, the fat you see at the top. That's known as rogan. So that's why it's known as uh, mutton rogan josh. So yeah, it's done. Just uh, increase the flame, bring it to boil for like one to two minutes, and after that you can serve it with rice or uh, naan. It goes well with rice actually. So guys, if you guys think you know we are doing a good job, we are making good recipes, please subscribe to our channel, like our videos, and please do leave a comment. And if you guys want us to make more videos, please suggest us new recipes which we can cook. We'll share it as soon as possible. So yeah, happy cooking.